Hi, this is Animesh Datta. This video tutorial is on cold fusion. In my last video tutorial, I have said about cold fusion comment, right? How we can use cold fusion uh, commands in our code. And uh, I, I have told that cold fusion server, that is application server, does not process these commands to view on web browser so here I am going to introduce array and structures in cold fusion let's start I have told you earlier that how to define uh, and declare a variable in cold fusion this is the name of the variable and I am going to create an array here right this is an empty array and we use cf dump to view the content of the array so oops just wait cf dump save dump right file has a i control s just all tap i am going i have come to my website right just wait is my screen right yes reload just to it it's really nice that I am creating a cold fusion array a cold fusion array is a dynamic I'll show you how it is dynamic so we will use index in array to get so here is the empty array right so we have not initiated any value here in array this is the empty array right I can set value here array 1 equals to sorry coefficient it now let's see just reload that page here the index is 1 and the value coefficient 8 has been set here in that array and again uh, I can create another one add 2 sorry uh, like um, what I can say coefficient 9 control s just reload yeah I have got another one uh, let's see cf set add 5 let's have, have some uh, hands on experience to get idea about that array sorry old fashion right all tap directly I am going to that index array 5 right so I have not declared any uh, any uh, value here in 3 and 4 index so here undefined array element element 3 is undefined in a Java object of class of type class called fusion runtime array. Right. Let's see one thing. CF set at zero. Sorry. CF all tab. Oh. 
Oops. The element at position 0 of an array variable here cannot be found. So, here we have found that it starts with 1, right? Yeah. Now, it is uh, it it is an array. Now, uh, let us create an object, sorry, a structure. Uh, we can comment it control shift M. So, we have commented the code. It is really nice to comment the code if you do not want to uh, get debug it. Just alt tab reload. Yeah, variable air is undefined. Oops, there is nothing like air. I am now going to create a structure here in coefficient mm. CF set right struct equals to this bracket. Yeah, come here struct alt tab reload yeah that is empty struct <laughs> uh, I have to get something like this set set right name oops struct dot name coefficient 8 let's see I will explain how it is working reload so so here the name of the structure is struct and this is we can call key right and this is this one is the value so here name is the key right and this is the value I can create another one here cf set struct dot um, what can I say uh, uh, like uh, web web server sorry IIS alt f reload so I have got another one Thus, we uh, create structure in coefficient. I have just shown you that how coefficient array and structure as are created. So, it is uh, really nice to create array and structure in coefficient. Now, let us see how we can combine these things array and uh, structure. Just comment it. Right. And comment it. Here, right? This is the first one, second one, third one. Add reload. Yeah, I have got one. I want to see that if I want to put a, a structure here in the in that place will it work or not right so create a structure here cf set struct it is really nice to create okay here cf set r 3 Oops, struct control s alt tab just reload this page yeah I have got this structure here man uh, if I create something struct dot name oops struct 
teacher name. Yeah, this or third one, right? If I wanna just uh, get this value from the structure, I can uh, write like this. Let's see, man. Just access this. Add it three. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one, man. Control S, Control. 